Today we're back on the engine dyno with a billet 3 rotor 20B rotary engine. Simon, mean, you've been on the diner the last what, two days, setting this up? Yeah, setting it all up. Ah, what a mission. So many uh, little things you don't think of, isn't there? Nah, it's crazy. You've just got it running on uh, 98? Yeah, it's on 98. Just revved it to about 6,000. About 13, 14 pounds, and yeah. it's made 501. So, yeah, it's good. Just check the plugs. I come down to the engine dyno a lot, and this is by far the quietest engine I've ever heard here. Yeah, it's going to be a beautiful package for Bob Stye over in Hawaii. He's definitely going to love this. A bit nerve-wracking, a bit different for us. Obviously different for everyone. The dyno operators and usually we can touch feel. We've got our heads under the bonnet. Uh, this, we're in a room, we can't even hear it. Yeah. It's quiet. Yeah, I mean, I've been doing this a long time and this is only the third rotary I've filmed on an engine dyno. Yeah. So you're going to be trying pump unleaded with methanol. Yeah, just so he's got a safety buffer, you know, if he puts pump fuel in and wants to run yeah, you know, 16, 20, up to 20 pounds. You know, the methanol will keep the intake charge cool. So we've just, you're just up around 700 horsepower. It's pretty good yep. power on uh, pump unleaded, Simon. Uh, the boost is coming up a little bit because this is the first um, 45 we've put on a 20B, a G45, Garrett G45. Uh, and the engine's flowing quite, quite well. And because we're limited for room in the FD RX-7, we usually run the wastegate up the front um, and it'll flow a bit more with a shorter pipe, like on a 13B, or even a 20B with a bigger turbo. It's sort of the same sort of package we run, yeah. but we usually run a 47, yeah. the, G, the GDX 47. But yeah, the, the smaller the turbo, the harder to control the boost. Uh, we just got to play around with the exhaust, uh, the position of the wastegate. But yeah, as I said, we're limited for room in the FD RX-7. A lot of people will look at it and go, oh, of course you're going to have overboost problems, but we've done this sort of setup before with a different yeah. size turbo. Nice. Um, and it different, reacts differently. Different, yeah, different yeah. combination and it reacts different. It's just so you can get, you know, a lot of low down torque. Yeah, because it's, it's going down to be a, a manual. Yeah, manual street car. Yeah. Yeah, so all he wants to do is just, yeah, have some decent power, which is good. Seven, you know, 700 horsepower. On pump fuel, yeah. On pump fuel, it's, it's doing good. It's pretty easy. Yeah. So what's the plan now? You guys are going to maybe introduce some ethanol? Yeah, and, we're, and the tune-up that in, is in it is like, Mm. Yeah, you wouldn't. I've noticed. It's way too rich. Yeah. But, like, I want to keep it rich because God knows what's going to happen when it goes overseas and goes into the car. So then at least we've got a really, really good base where if it's rich, we can just trim it up from there. Um, I'd rather it be on the richer side here. And then when it gets there, you know, altitude changes, yeah. you know, might, might, uh, won't, definitely won't want more fuel but we can trim it up accordingly. So what sort of boost to be on there? I noticed it was just spiking up a bit at the top of the- Yeah, 15 pounds. Yeah, 15 pounds. Yeah, 15, 16 pounds is, uh, it definitely will make more if I trim it up a bit. Yeah, the AFRs are in the nines. Nines? Yeah. We've got a methanol spray that we put in. So that's why, you know, it just helps keep it safe. Again, I don't know what, what the fuel is like overseas, probably better than ours here in Australia, but it's always safer to just yeah. give it a, a methanol spray. And we're spraying it uh, via the fuel tech and controlling uh, six, 
Seam and Decker injectors, so we've got full control of that. I put my hand on the manifold before, the thing's um, yeah, like a nice yeah, ice yeah, cube. Yeah, yeah, it's nice and cool. That's what you want. Yeah. Engine love it. So we're back on the dyno, Simon, yep. with the uh, little, I should say, well, it's a big rotary engine. It's a big rotary engine. It's still yeah. a little engine, 20V. Yeah. Yeah. And what have we changed since last time? I think you were having a little bit of issues controlling the boost. Yeah, so we've put a smaller turbo on yeah. to help it spool up a bit better because it's a street car. And because of the position of the wastegate, that didn't help. So we've added an extra Turbo sure Smart 50 mil gate, and now we've got full control. Full control. Yeah, you guys are really running this not. down to earlier, like five psi. Yeah, five, around six, around five psi. six that's amazing. Five, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I know on a Mazda, that's a very small exhaust housing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Just yeah. so it can feel yeah. really nice on the yeah. street and spool up quickly. And the one thing I notice, even though that's, I guess, an external screamer, it doesn't even sound no. really any louder, does no, it? No, it's not that loud. Yeah. Yeah, and I got a 20B and, um, Mine's like a screamer pot. Mm. You can't really hear it that yeah, much. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the last time we were on pump 98 over yep. in America, they, it's not the same as 93. Um, yeah, 93. AKI. I think they call. Yep. Ours is 98 Ron. So it's yep. the same as the US spec 93 yep. unleaded. Yeah. And we made, I think, around, it was about, I think you sort of pulled the pin at about 690 horsepower. Yeah, close yeah, to the 7, 693, close pump to the fuel. 700. Yeah. Today we're on E85, and you yep. guys have just been. Uh, creeping up on the tune up a bit. I think yeah. we just did sort of back 700 horsepower on not, not much boost, yeah. Yeah, well, 13.6 yeah. to 14 PSI, and um, yeah. yeah, didn't see more than 14.0 or mm. something like that. But the plan with this engine, it's, it's more like an all-round responsive street package. Definitely. It's not like an all-out. It's not like a drag application, is it? Where nah, you're trying to nah, make... nah, nah, nah. This yeah. is to make good horsepower down low. Yeah, really good, good, good horsepower. Average power. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, so mid range it's... will come on really nice for putting a Samsonis gearbox behind it. Yeah, and it'll just pull up really quick and just yeah light them mm. up if he hasn't got good tires. And you're going to be doing flex fuel tuning. Yeah, on we're going to do flex fuel as well. Yep. So he'll be able to knock it back to the 98. Well, he's 93, mm. he's going over to Hawaii. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, Bob's gonna be wrapped with this package. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna really love it. I reckon you'll be getting a few uh, people trying to replicate, a, a few repeat orders on this one, I reckon. Yeah, no, nah, this is a really, really nice package. All the EGTs are showing really nice. Um, we've got like a methanol injection just to keep the intake charge cool. Yeah. Uh, just safety and reliability. Mm. That's, that's the main key here. Safety, reliable good mid-range horsepower. And yeah, you won't beat this package with the Garrett G45 turbocharger. G45, yeah. yeah. It's funny, that it sounds huge, but it, on this it doesn't look very big compared to some no. of the ones we see. Even seen. the dyno operator was surprised how quick yeah. the turbo spools up. Yeah. What did he say? This would be awesome in a sports sedan. Yeah, in yeah. some sort of track car, it would, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, oh. Seven, oh, 700 horsepower yeah. on the knocker, uh, 14 psi. And you're not revving it that high either. Nah, really. 8,000. 8,000 yeah. RPM? Oh. We'll get it up to about 20, 24 yeah. pound, hopefully get into the 900 to 1,000. Mm -hmm. They start getting less efficient yeah. Yeah. Uh, as they get out of their map um, because we're, we're spooling them up so quick, yeah. the turbochargers. So we'll just continue and see, see how we go. So well, I think we were talking about this off air earlier. Essentially, like per cubic inch, you could say, the three rotor isn't quite, the two yeah. rotor seems to make insane power for Two yeah, rotors. so people say, oh, 500 with yeah. the two rotor, 750 with the three. No, it doesn't work like doesn't that. doesn't quite work nah. like that. Yeah. Nah. I just have the three rotor simply for A, the torque. The torque, yeah. And that's, the sound. Yeah, that's where it gains. Yeah. So where you're not making probably as much power, comparing apples with apples, you're making more torque and that gets you through. Now one thing I picked up on, on this engine, Simon, it doesn't have that rotary pulse. Yeah, um, so Bob uh, wanted something street drivable, Very smooth, smooth yeah. something nice that he can just use on the road and the bridge port really didn't suit his application. So yeah, we've done just a nice Promaz Turbo uh, Extend port 
So that extend port is working really well. Billet engine, yep. extend ported. So it's nothing. extremely close to the factory port. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, so the factory billet pro billet port. port. Yeah. Yes, that's a good point. Because we've got yep. uh, larger in the primary, which helps everywhere. Yeah, that makes sense. It's so smooth. And I, yeah, I can't get over how quiet it is. It's a beautiful 20B package. Do these run the similar, as like the RX-7 style FC to style rotors? Or? Yes, yeah. yeah, yep, yep. And this one we put the FC rotors, lower comp. We compromise in spots and, and try and make the package safe and reliable everywhere. Yeah. Uh, if we had a bit bigger turbo, we would have run higher comp rotors. Yeah. This is also running a complete fuel tech yep. package. Yep, complete fuel tech package, uh, FT600, FT Spark, the injector peak and hold pro box, full fuel tech package. Yeah, ignition coils, the whole lot. Yeah. Did, did you choose this setup? Was this something the owner did? Or? Nah, we chose it. Yeah. It looks cool. Yeah. Even distribution yeah. for your runners. Um, build it anything looks good. Yeah, build it anything, yeah. I suppose. Uh, yeah, it's a nice manifold and seems to be working yeah. quite well. All right, well, why don't we get back in the dyno control yep. room and start turning up the boost? Turn up the boost. That's it.